Hi, Dave Wolf here, and welcome back to the firehouse. Today I'm standing here with this DOT 406 cargo tank model. This is a two compartment version. It's a pneumatically operated system, but closely mimics a lot of the 406 cargo tanks that you see out there on the roadways themselves. On this particular model, we put two different styles of dome lids on it. We have a latch style dome lid as well as a strong back style dome lid. The, the internal valves are pneumatically operated and down here you can see that you have a, an air motor that actually operates this internal valve where the driver just has a switch on the other side. On the end of this 406 cargo tank model, you can see, clearly see that we have the continuation of the vapor recovery system. And down here, what you have is a pneumatic tank. This is mimicking the air brake reservoir that you'd find between the tandems of a DOT 406 cargo tank. It is also how the valves are operated. On the end of this 406 cargo tank model, we've completed the vapor recovery system. And also, down at the bottom down here, we have a, a, a pneumatic tank. Uh, this pneumatic tank would duplicate what you would find on a normal DOT 406 cargo tank in the fact that they use air pressure in a lot of cases to operate their internal valves and that air pressure comes from the air brake reservoir but that's between the rear tandems on the cargo tank. On the other side of this DOT 406 cargo tank model we've got our delivery side of the tank. From the delivery side you can also see parts of the internal structure, how the valves operate, going down to the del actual delivery points down here with again the pneumatic motors and the delivery lines themselves, commonly known as API valves. Also, this unit comes equipped with a load monitoring system that is set up over, the, over on the other side, as well as pneumatic switches that operate the valve. For more information about this cargo tank model and others, please feel free to visit our website.